Hey everyone! So before we jump into today's video, I just wanted to let you know that my brand new watercolor booklet is out now in my Etsy shop. It's all on spring florals, how to paint five different types of flowers, greenery, color mixing, tips on composition for florals, and basic strokes. So if you want to pick up your own digital copy, head on over to the link in the description below, go on over to my Etsy shop, and go pick up your copy now. Let's jump into the video. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a cat, so let's do it! Okay, so to start, I'm just going to go through my materials. I'm using B watercolor paper today, my Winsor Newton Cotman watercolors in my palette. I also have a pencil to sketch out the face with. I have um, my micron pen here if I need it. I'm not sure if I'm going to need it. And then I also have like a black Sharpie just to fill in part of the eyes. And then my paintbrush, I have my Princeton snap paintbrush in a size six and my water and my paper towel and we're ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna be sketching out a face first. And the first thing you wanna do is draw a circle. I'm just gonna draw a circle. I usually go around a couple times just to get it as close to the circle shape as I want, like that. You're gonna cut the circle in half, and then again, okay? And this is just gonna give you a guideline of where the facial features are gonna go. And you can definitely use a ruler if you wanna be a bit more accurate, okay? Okay, so now we are gonna draw the ears, and the ears are just gonna be halfway kind of in between, um, actually maybe a bit more down so leaving a bit more space in between them up here. So we're just gonna do some rough triangle shapes like that. Like that. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the eyes and the eyes are gonna be in the center of these halves like that. And you're gonna start from the line and you're just gonna go up. You're gonna do a curve up like so. And then you're gonna do a circle underneath, like so, okay? I'm gonna do another one. So leave the same amount of distance. Curve like this. You can even bring that line down a bit more. And then a circle coming down underneath. <clears throat> Excuse me. And just play with it until you really get that shape that you desire, okay? Like so. Okay, and now we're gonna do the nose and it's gonna be halfway in between this section. So you're just gonna do a little line here, like so. And then you're gonna come down, in, down and then on the same the same on the other side down in down it's almost like a T shape like that okay and then <clears throat> excuse me you're just gonna make the little mouth parts so you're just gonna make a line going down a little bit and then two lines on an angle down like that okay and the head is not actually going to be this shape necessarily okay so we're going to maybe make a little curve here for the chin which we won't uh, just to give us an idea we're not going to actually outline that after and then right around where those whiskers are going to go just to give us an idea okay so now we're going to go over the eyes and the nose and the mouth with a pen. I'm not gonna go around the head with the pen. I want it to be watercolor, but I wanna outline these parts and define them. Like that. Okay, and you wanna try and, try and make them as symmetrical as you can to each other. Okay, I'm gonna bring these corners down a bit more. Like 
Okay, and then you're gonna do another circle in the middle. And this is gonna be the black pupil part. Like that, okay? I'm just gonna outline this nose. I am going to just come up a little bit, make a little bit of a line there. Okay, so now I'm actually going to color in the pupil part, if that makes sense, <laughs> with black. And I'm gonna leave a little white speck for the highlight in the eye. And you don't have to do this part with marker, you could always do it with watercolor if you like. I'm just gonna outline that a bit more. So I'm gonna make that outline of that eyelid a bit darker. Like that. Okay, and there we go. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of the mouth here. Like so. And there okay so now I am going to actually I'm going to just outline the, the ears a bit just very lightly just the top of the ears just so we know where they are and now we're gonna erase the pencil marks okay so now we can start painting so I'm going to start with the eyes and I'm going to make them a very nice light blue. So I'm just going to take a little bit of turquoise and I'm just going to go around that ring here. Just a light wash. You don't want it too, too dark. And then I'm going to go and get some ultramarine, which is a deeper, like a, a warmer blue. And I'm just going to hit up closer to where the top is. Of the eye. I'm gonna wash off my brush and I might just blend it out a bit like that. Okay and now I'm gonna do the nose so I'm just gonna take a bit of pink that I already have mixed here like that. Maybe a bit of red just tap it like that. And now we can start doing the fur. So we're just gonna try and keep it simple. I'm gonna do like a light brownish, yellowish fur. So I'm gonna take some burnt umber. Like this, and we're just gonna do a light wash and I'm gonna just start by going above the nose. bringing it up over the eyes and I'm going to try and leave it lighter around the eyes okay so I'm not actually touching those eyes okay you can bring it up to the top part of the ear here just blending it in. And then we're gonna have it come out. And you're just gonna do the fur like that. So we're not doing individual little strokes of fur. We are just bringing it out with our brush like this. I find there's two ways you can do fur. You can do it like hyper realism where you draw every single strand of like hair or fur, or you don't draw them, right? And you just kind of achieve that look with the texture. 
so it's a lot more minimal and this is definitely an easier way. Okay, and we're gonna leave some white space around where those whiskers would go. So I'm just gonna go around it. And we're just creating the shape of that face for that cat. Okay. And then as we get closer to that area where it's white, you can just take a clean brush and just blend it out a bit. We can always add some actual white paint there later if we want. We do want to leave it a bit lighter though than the rest of the cat's face. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to take a bit of pink and I'm just going to go in the ear here. Like so. Now I'm gonna take a bit more brown, maybe a bit of black, and we're just gonna do some, some patterns on the cat's face. So I'm gonna make it a bit darker around the nose. Bring it up. And mine right now is a mix of like dry and wet. It's starting to dry, so you can get some sharper lines and then some of it's bleeding. So I'm just gonna make it darker around the top of the nose here. And I'm just gonna do some little stripes. You can always look at actual cat pictures for reference. Stripes around here. And you want those stripes to be fairly symmetrical. So bring this part down by the eye. I'm going to darken up the top of the ear here with some fur strokes. Nothing too detailed though. And then I may do some dots for where those whiskers are. Okay, and I'm going to wait for it to fully dry to do the whiskers. I'm going to darken up around the mouth here. <clears throat> like that. Just do a little chin here with light strokes. I feel like this guy needs to be a, fur be a bit furrier around the face here. You just kind of keep playing around with it until you like it, I guess. <laughs> and you can always go back in and darken up some of those, those spots and the patterns on the cat. I'm actually going to take some black and I'm going to go around the eye. Now make sure that eye color, the blue, is dry. So it doesn't, and I'm going to go over the pupil area too, just to darken it up even more over that marker. the 
on the nose too with the black. Creating kind of like the inner parts of the nostrils there. Just a bit more definition. Like so. Might go back in with a bit more red on that nose. And darken up the line here. Leaving it lighter pink in the middle. Like that. I'm gonna do a bit of a curve here. Maybe I wanna look like this cat's kinda of smiling, I guess, right? <laughs> And you can definitely do the rest of the body too, if you want, like that's totally up to you. Get some darkness in the ears here. Maybe do a bit more patterns up the nose here. Around the eyes. Like that. Okay. So I think, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> um, maybe I will just do a light wash coming down, just very rough. So it's not just a floating cat head. <laughs> but I'm not going to do as much detail on this. And we're just going to fade it out. Leaving a bit of white space under. Just going to drop in some shadow. couple bits of further if you like. There you go. And then I'm going to take my really light thin um, pen and I'm just going to do some whiskers very very lightly. Like that. And then I think I'm actually gonna take a bit of white ink. I have my Dr. Paige Martin's Bleed Proof White. And I'm just going to do some hair flecks around the eyes and then the ears. Like that. Just getting a bit of texture to those lighter areas. And there you go. There is your cute little watercolor cat. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook and Instagram for even more. Have a great day guys. Bye.